Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I just wanted to do a, uh, a video explaining the, Mac, the advantages to the MacBook Air over the MacBook Pro. Now when you're thinking about a, a new laptop, a new Apple, 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 a new Apple laptop rather, you're probably looking at them and you're like, oh this is Pro, this means it's better. Oh the Air, maybe that implies it's lighter. And you know what? They've pretty much gotten their naming convention pretty much spot on. Now the Pro is going to provide you with a faster processor performance. It's, uh, you know, the memory, you're still going to get, uh, you'll be able to put eight, uh, 8 gigs in there. Actually the Pro, they, ma they now may allow you to go up to 16 gigs, but I know with the Air, they only allow you to go up to 8. Now, I went with the Air, and the reason, and this isn't a cover by the way, you can check out my other video where I explained the uh, case cover that I put my 2012 Ivy Bridge MacBook Air in. But uh, I went with the Air because you can get an Air with SSD, which is solid state hard drive, for a lot lower price point than the entry level MacBook Pro with solid state hard drive. And what I was looking for from my portable, I've got a desktop, an iMac so I don't need a powerhouse on the road. Uh, but what I do need is something that's lightweight, and you can see how thin that is. And this case adds a little bit of thickness to it. But I wanted something I could use on the road for quick video edits, for quick photo edits, to download videos to, make sure they're acceptable. What's worse than being on location filming, only to realize when you get home that your video, maybe the camera was misaligned and you missed the shot you wanted or whatever. With this, I can download and do quick edits to the review and do quick edits to the video in the field and then when I get home send it over my network to my desktop monster, you know, my iMac and do all the finishing touches and then uh, save it for long term storage. So with the MacBook Air, just w now I wouldn't go with the 64 gig SSD because you're going to find that that's making it pretty tight with space but with the 128 gig SSD out of the box with Mountain Line, OS 10 Mountain Line, with the updates installed, which of course included the uh, iLife suite, you know, your Garage Band and, uh, and, and those apps, iPhoto. With all that installed, I was out of the 128 gig SSD, I was left with approximately 100 gigs of free space, which in today's standards, you think 100 gigs, it's like, God, you know, standard now hard drive is one terabyte. Yeah, you know, that's, that's about a tenth of the size. Well, you don't look at it that way. What you look at when you're looking at SSD is faster boot time, faster shutdown time, faster overall responsiveness to all the apps you're running. For a mobile computer, I would, wouldn't take anything less than SSD. And actually, for desktops now, I wouldn't consider anything less than SSD. I wouldn't go with a big SSD where I'm spending all that extra money for the extra SSD storage. Instead, I would get a Mac with a 128 gig SSD, and I would then I would use uh, external storage, USB 3.0, uh, and or a, Na a NAS network attached storage, or Thunderbolt storage. So there's a lot of external storage options that are blazing fast, and but it's important to me at least that the primary hard drive be SSD. And I got this Air over the MacBook Pro primarily because of the price point, but also the thinness is nice. I mean, this is a really lightweight and portable fully functional laptop. And on each side, on this side over here that I'm looking at, you've got an SSD card slot, a USB 3.0 port, and Thunderbolt port. And on this other side over here, you have a MagSafe power adapter, which is, by the way, a different size than the previous generation uh, MagSafe power adapter on MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. You've got another USB 3.0 port and a headphone jack. So, you know, very simple uh, input-output uh, on this device, but you could connect it to an external display if you wanted to and, and really uh, increase the viewing size. But, I mean, for 13 inches, for a portable, in my opinion, that's plenty, plenty big. And the keyboard's backlit, which is nice. 
in the past there were some app, Mac uh, MacBook uh, laptop models that did not have illuminated keyboards and it's got your multi-touch gesture uh, pad that you're used to so you know just a really nice uh, really nice laptop for the money you don't get an optical drive so no DVD or CD but who uses that anymore anyway I mean everything is digital download and you can stick a flash drive in if you need to copy something so uh, one other thing I failed to mention is that it does have integrated wireless and it does not have a network port on the MacBook Air but you can get a it's about 27 bucks or whatever from Apple and I posted a video on it the Thunderbolt gigabit Ethernet adapter it works really well blazing fast and I'm in my home network I can plug this into my gigabit Ethernet and the file copy across the gigabit Ethernet is lightning fast so couldn't be happier if you want to use one Mac only and it's got to be a laptop and it's you know it's your desktop your portable and everything you could still do well with a MacBook Air if you're a heavy video editor you would probably if you were laptop only you would probably want to go MacBook Pro because of the faster processor although this does a good job you're still going to be when you're rendering the editing and everything's quick but when you're rendering the edits that you've applied this MacBook Air is going to seem very slow uh, for those uh, uh, for the rendering to occur as opposed to a high-end uh, MacBook Pro or even a desktop and really if you're going to do extensive amount of video editing in Final Cut Pro you're probably going to want a desktop anyway either a Mac Pro or an iMac but when it comes to MacBook Air like this video is talking about MacBook Air versus MacBook for the price point in my opinion can't beat MacBook Air 13 inch 128 gig SSD solid state hard drive and 8 gigs of memory and max out that memory at 8 gigs because you cannot upgrade it yourself it's part it's part of the unit so get the hard drive you want and get the memory that you want when you purchase it because you're not going to be able to upgrade it uh, thanks for tuning in and feel free to uh, check out all my other videos on YouTube too it's youtube.com forward slash irixguy y'all have a good day